majority leader and the House minority leader, to name a few, become so feared and so successful. For the first time, he tells us, from his home in Wichita, banged up a little, thanks to foot surgery, and wearing a cast decorated by his wife, ready to talk about life, politics, and his new book, Good Prophet. So your book, Good Prophet, reads to me like a love letter to your father. How big of an influence was he on you? Both my parents were a tremendous influence on me, and my, my father's influence came from that he decided that, well, probably before we were born, that, as he put it, I'm not going to have any kids who are country club bums. He worked you. He wanted to instill the work ethic, and because he knew if you don't learn to work, to be more productive, to, to improve your efficiency, to cooperate with other people, at an early age, you may never learn those habits, so you can't make a contribution, you can't be successful. And years later, I asked my father, I said, Pop, why were you so much harder on me than my younger brothers? He said, son, you plumb wore me out. <laughs> later, Coke kept up the hard work, landing at the prestigious MIT. His plan was not to take over the family business. The thought of going back and working for him, such, he was such a disciplinarian growing up, I, I, I had no idea I would do that. But things changed. He called me, said, son, my health is not good. I don't have that long to live. Either you come back to run the company or I'm going to have to sell it. Tell us about the first piece of advice your dad gave you when you took over as CEO. His first words to when I when I arrived is, uh, his son, I hope your first deal is a loser. Otherwise, you'll think you're a lot smarter than you are. But he, he had tremendous values, tremendous integrity, humility, work ethic, and, a, and terrific thirst for knowledge. You warn in the book about the trap of overconfidence in a business and a person? Oh, absolutely, yep. Yeah, hubris, arrogance is, is just one step ahead of loss of integrity. Because if you think you're better than other people, you know more, then you're, you're going to think, as, as many leaders have, that the rules don't apply to them. So they lose their integrity. His new book, Good Profit, emphasizes integrity, arguing it's fine to make lots of money, but how you do it matters. You say that you, you have always prized values over talent in your hiring decisions. Really? A absolutely. I, I, I've had the philosophy that, uh, that John Adams expressed in, in the, the kind of system they were trying to create in this country, uh, that this is a system for moral people. It will work for no other. You're telling me some hotshot salesman from New York could come down here, top of his game, and, you know, I'm sure he may bend the rules here or there, but he is a producer. You wouldn't hire that guy? No, absolutely not. If he's going to bend the rules, we won't have him. And in our interview process, that's what we look for. How? How do you figure out somebody's values, their integrity in, an, in a job interview? We put the candidate in, in different situations, like we have somebody that the candidate doesn't think important, take them down to the cafeteria, we see how they, that, the candidate treats that person, how they treats the, the staff at the cafeteria, and, uh, and we see how they answer questions. We ask them, gosh, uh, did you have any problems where you were? Did you make any mistakes? If they say no, oh no, but the company was so screwed up and they wouldn't listen to me, we, we don't want that. What does the inability to admit mistakes tell you about somebody? They don't have any humility and probably don't have any integrity. Humility in hiring also serves Coke well. Don't you want all the hotshot MBAs from Harvard and Wharton and elsewhere? We, we find we do better from uh, community colleges, from rural colleges. Like our, uh, after I was uh, the president of Coke Industries, our, our next uh, presidents were, uh, well, one didn't graduate from college and the current president is from Emporia State. At Coke Industries, even you get evaluated. Is that true? That's true. How does that work? That works great. I, I learn a lot. Aren't you afraid of a bruised ego? No. I, what, it, here's the thing, and I, I think all of us need this attitude. 
do you want to to have your feelings hurt a little bit because you've got some negative feedback or do you want to continue down the disastrous track you're on and have a huge disaster? I would talk about a bruised ego. Well, it may ruin your career. Is it true that any employee at Coke can earn more than his boss? Oh, absolutely. It's we try to reward people according to the value they create, the value they create in society and the value they create for the company. And that you will hire based on talent, even if